Hello there everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the Thinking Skills Assessment that is the TSA and it is an assessment which is used by some UK universities as part of their admissions process particularly for courses in fields like social sciences or humanities and all business uh, courses. So it assesses all the critical thinking and problem solving skills through a series of multiple choice questions and also with the help of an essay component. So let's talk about what kind of multiple choice questions come over here. The multiple choice questions include thinking, reasoning and analytical skills based questions and these questions op often involve these interpreting uh, the data or uh, these evaluating the argument based questions then drawing logic conclusion based questions and sort of like that. For the essay section, candidates are required to respond to a prompt showcasing their ability to articulate the arguments, to analyze the information and also construct the coherent essays. For your preparation, what you need to do is that you need to look at the previous year's like papers, the past year's papers, you need to practice them. You need to familiarize yourself with the question format as well as the types of reasoning which is required to answer them. Secondly, what you need to do is that you need to develop critical thinking, of course, like try to engage in activities that require analysis, such as reading complex texts and also debating ideas you should be having. Try to practice answering the questions under timed conditions to improve your pacing during the actual assessment. Here, I'm going to tell you the structure of the TSA, that is the thinking skills assessment, how you're going to like um, answer the questions. So first I said there would be multiple choice questions. Now in these multiple choice questions you are required to answer 50 questions. You need to focus on tests uh, like based on critical thinking, problem solving and reasoning skills. Then uh, what, what would be the type of questions that you are going to expect? So here you are going to have uh, graphs, charts and all these things. Then you have logical reasoning based questions too. Then you have the essay section where the length of the essay depends or usually it requires a response of around 1000 words. Then what you need to do is that you, you, you would be given a task and you need to respond to a given prompt or a question demonstrating your ability to construct an argument, to analyze the perspectives and also express your ideas clearly. Then what you need to do is that you need to have the assessment criteria like there should be coherence, there should be clarity, there should be structure, there should be depth of analysis in your writing. So as I've already said for your proper preparation what you need to do is that you need to practice the previous year's question paper. So obviously utilize your official TSA practice papers which are available online everywhere and time yourself while taking these to simulate these exam conditions. Definitely study critical thinking as I have said try to read complex texts like philosophy texts or logic puzzles try to solve them also participate in discussions or debates to sharpen your analytical skills too. For the essay writing section practice writing essays on a variety of topics like focusing on structuring the arguments then supporting them with evidence or examples as we call it then you need to also review these sample essays to understand the effective writing skills and styles and techniques so you need to go through a lot of reference work before proceeding for your examination so be familiarized with the question type like review the types of questions typically included in the TSA to identify the patterns and the common themes so what are the key topics over here that you need to review basically you have these logical reasoning part where you need to understand the logical fallacies or the syllogisms and the argument structures secondly what you are going to do is that in the in the data interpretation part you need to practice interpreting the data which is presented in various formats such as in tables format or graph format in the argument analysis what you need to do is that you need to learn to identify the premises and conclusions in the arguments the resources where you're going to get all these things for practice purpose is the official TSA website of course. It will offer you with, with sample questions and additional resources. Secondly, what you're going to do is that you, you, you can read these study guides and books. Like look for guides which are specifically aimed at like critical thinking and assessment preparation and all. Try to join online forums also like join the discussion groups or the forums where you can share the strategies and tips with the other candidates. Okay, for the test day tips, I'm going to give you certain things that you like advice and suggestions that you can uh, listen to. Like obviously arrive early, don't be in a hurry, ensure that you have time to settle down and also relax before the assessment happens. 
read the instructions carefully make sure that you understand what is being asked in each section also have a time management like keep an eye on the time during the test to ensure you have completed all the questions all right so if you need more information or any specific information in any of these areas that i have just discussed you can just post down your queries in the comment box below or if you want to connect with us for preparation of these examinations then you can uh, like contact us in the numbers and the websites given in the description box thank you for being with me till the end